Hello from around the world and welcome to my tutorial of Mustang Sally. Um, you cannot see me today because I look like the Hunchback of Notre Dame because I got the cold and something with my back that me makes me uh, walk and talk bent over. I will of course give you some help with the bass line in the middle part of the video. I start, I play it, then comes the middle part with a little help and then afterwards uh, the slowed down version for you to look into details. Let's go. So here's your sick friend helping you, still helping you. So all pieces that don't come with a standard bass line are mean a little bit more headache to you because you have to learn the bass line also first instead of, you know, which is a standard bass thing. So this is a, that needs help, I help you. Before that, I get some emails or some wishes. Explain every little detail to us, please, on the tutorials. And one year ago, one and a half years ago, I did that. 
And then I got emails saying, why don't you ask give us the slow motion and then we can choose our own speed. The, the tutorial is getting uh, then easily, easily, 40 minutes long, easily. People don't watch uh, tutorials that are 40 minutes long. It's, I know it, I'm, a, I, I'm on the other side, I can see statistics and it tell you it's a hard, hard job. I didn't know that before being a YouTube genius, you know, to make it right for everybody. There is no way, but I make an effort. Let's go to the baseline. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one. That's the easy bit. One and two and three and four and one. The hard bit starts when we have to uh, change from C to F. Because it goes like this, I play one bar C and, uh, uh, and then I play the bar that changes to F. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Again, the change. One and two and three. And now comes the changing bar. One, two and three and four and one. This change, you have to practice till you're blind, basically, because there's other stuff coming and you don't cannot focus on this all the time. It must be almost an uh, automatic thing, like And there we have the same, going from F, two and three and four and one and two and three. And four and one and two, three and four and one. These changes, practice them. Also, this one. One and two, when we go back to C, and I, I love the sound, that's why I'm doing it again. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, because we gotta move on. Oh, I think I've got a fever. One and two and how was it? One and two and one. Yes. Now come the first syncopations. One and two. This is where the left hand has nothing to do. One and two and three and four and one and two and, and, and two and three and. So it's one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. Again, one and two and three and four and now this one. Four, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. You tie those. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and four and one okay one and two and three and four and one and two okie dokie put them together slow down one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one Remember these little details where you can see actually something. We can see what is coming clearly together out of the chaos that you, you don't see in the beginning. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, do it slowly, do it slowly. I cannot really do two, do two and two slow today. I've got to go to back to bed, but I give I, I do my best. Now, what I'm going to do with you is the chorus part. Now, this. Okay. The reason is I play variations in my performance, 
And this was stupid of me, because even the singer in the original doesn't do variations on this first thing. So, uh, and I just automatically do variations. But uh, it's, not, it's nonsense here. So we do the standard version, and you play the standard version uh, uh, always. That way you have the chorus part just repeating, which is a great relief, because you have enough work to do with the thing in between. Okay, so you just, just play always this one. Let's go down to it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and... The thumb is basically a drone put da uh, upside down. The G is playing with all notes, no exception. So basically it's just... And you play that with me now. Come on! It's almost better by, um, by ear, not by counting, because it's so catchy. Da, da, da. Come on! Now just nail the thumb to this key, or with one of those... And then you put the fourth finger here again, so this can't move, and you just play. And you got it. That's how easy piano playing is. Just need the right toolbox. And then we have, now comes the, the uh, awesome bit here, the headache stuff. Now, remember always some corners that seem dodgy to you. Like for me it was like da 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 here. Da da ha da ta ha da da ta ta. Yeah, it's a bit intertwined, eh? It's not like uh, not exactly made for piano students, I must say. Ba, 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 ba. fucked up Christian come on bum, 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 bum. all of this comes also in the slow replay it all, all comes there too I'm just giving you a sort of um, uh, protocol in which way to go about it Bass line, intro, uh, doing the, uh, the general chorus, like the standard chorus thing, and then you add the brass section, and then you go to the verses. In the verses you have the most work, where I have a little bit of different stuff also. Um, and there I also have, like, one who wants to want a bit more, is actually from middle, middle um, level, for me, intermediate, um, to, uh, you know, edging to advanced. So I did that on purpose. So you, um, the, the, uh, the intermediate people, they can just repeat one chorus, uh, one, one verse, and repeat it. That's totally fine. And if you want the more solo part, you're a bit more advanced, you can add that. So it's really like a box, and you want this, you just repeat this. And I do that with many songs, maybe you have realized. So you can, um, many times, people can play it at a lower level if they just repeat the easier verse, and then they have it completely fine. That's how many tutorials on internet work anyway. So, um, where were we? The brass section. If you cannot play it with the trills, um, you just leave them out for now. You do C with the 5 in the middle. And we go to B flat with the 5 in the middle. From B flat the 5. And we get the rhythm. One and two and three and four and one. This piece is full of uh, syncopations. It's a soul piece. 
One and two and three and four and one and two three and four and duck 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 This is your metronome duck 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 It's a nice metronome sound I picked for you Now of course the heart but it's uh, here One and two and Again you can move together one and two and three and four and one and two and three and see where they're coming one and two and three and four and one and two and three and job done and one here one it as I said then we have this uh, um, ah, we have the brass section of course but this is easy you see that um, that's a brass section in the original and also all trills or slides you have difficulties with in the beginning you just leave them out for now okay don't let them stop you you can add them later or next year when your general level has advanced on my channel which it will have because I'm totally about it progress my channel is about progress so and then you have we have all the stuff in between I'm not gonna show you that's what the slow motion is for like uh, you just have to figure that out in slow motion it's a, it's a jigsaw puzzle with all these syncopations, my mouth's getting dry. Where's my Earl Grey? Blind Willie Earl Grey died 1850. Great blues pianist. Mm. So that's basically it. Can I go to bed now? Did I miss something? Um, uh, I think that's it. Now go to work. There's some work waiting for you. Um, ah, yeah. Uh, I probably have played back it. Uh, have played it back with the drum loop. You can download it. It's in the just video box under the video. It's fun practicing with it. I, I slowed it down a little bit for you because I'm the teacher and I must keep my students slower than myself. So you can download it and it's fun practicing with it. I wish you all the best, take care, and uh, see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.
hope you like my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.